This okay. conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, here you will be learning all the JDBC related stuffs, and when you are very much confident with the JDBC, multi then again multi data source will be there. How to you know configure them, you know manipulate with programming everything. Means not only the admin coding thing we will do. And then we will come to JMS. Okay. In JMS, I will explain you the basics of JMS, theories of JMS. Then I will also tell you how to write JMS programs. Okay, then we will learn some JMS program okay. in Java. Then, that, is it needed for an admin? No, it is needed for developers. Then, when you know these things, yes, we will come to the administrator stuff, where you will have some Java messaging services you will be creating on WebLogic. First, same, which you are doing on WebLogic, you know with the coding, how it is done. Then the same you have to do see uh, earlier days when weblogic was not there we have to do the same thing on java coding means you have to create a jms uh, server you need to write one code then jms server is created you want to pass one message from one place one place to other place you have to write the code sender and receiver code right now yes, yes, the yes, same, yes, yes. yeah right the same thing is given in terms of form in uh, your web logic you are filling the form and hitting the same logic and the same program is going to get you know started in the back end so if yes, you yes. know how this program was written with a logical understanding then obviously the form will looks very simple to you so we will do you know understand jms and jms service and jms apis what are the apis in terms of programming then we will do the same which in the programming we did with we will try to do the same in the java uh, this uh, web logic jms page okay so this will look you know both you will be doing you will be doing administration you will be doing programming both then weblogic security okay. comes in weblogic security you will learn various security aspects like ssl weblogic you know how you can secure weblogic realm how to you know uh, change authentication provider authorization provider when let's say you are hitting uh, some set of username password let's say you are given one username password you have limited access maybe uh, your architect or, uh, or maybe your you know like a manager have more access you have less access right this is done by you know okay. weblogic security some roles will be created groups will be created realms will be created in weblogic right so this is how how okay. to manipulate the realm let's say uh, tomorrow today you are working in one web logic and that web logic okay. is using some back end uh, ldap right let's say any ldap it's using some let's say it's using ad as an ldap just assume and let's say your company uh, you know is uh, hiring you know some contractor from another company let's say you are working for abc corp and okay. your abc like vendor you are telling right uh -huh. uh, let's uh, whatever company you are working and let's say this ab p corp given some contract to some another organization that organization name is let's say uh, flipkart okay okay so flipkart already have their set of employees in their uh, whatever ldap they are using ad or oud whatever right some ldap they also have so currently you are using ad as an backend let's say today uh, dinesh want to let me so today let's say dinesh want to access to or log into the current environment dinesh try to give his credentials to weblogic weblogic collects the credential and it authenticate him with the backend ldap and if the username and passwords are correct it creates the session and dinesh is now able to access okay the weblogic okay but, your company have your LDAP, right? Means their LDAP, which license they are paying every month, you know, every year. No, yes, Flipkart is also merged. Let's say some another team is also now going to work with you parallelly on the same project. So, what okay. you, how you can create their profile? First solution, create all the users from OUD to AD, means their LDAP to your LDAP, migrate all the users, or currently. Oh you are using this ad using one realm realm is a concept let's say realm okay. one so you are whenever dinesh is logging and any internal employees logging they are using realm one and using the realm one realm is throwing one uh login page which is 
you know that uh, weblogic uh, blue color page this is coming due to this default realm and due, due to this default realm you are getting one blue color page you are giving username and password and that default realm have a backend called ad and you are getting authenticated what i can do at this time i will create one second realm this realm name is realm 2 okay. and this realm 2 okay. what okay. i will do i will connect hmm. with this this backend and whenever this company's contractor which are now contractor for abc core flipkart when they will hit the okay. url okay there uh, now okay. i can also customize the home page also means if you are belong to realm one you will get blue color page since they are contractor they will hit the same url but that page will not open for them or uh, some other page will open okay. where username and password will be you know collected from them and when they will hit they will get authenticating from the same oud which they used to have and again based on whatever they are authentication how much authorization i want to give i will give them let's say uh, you guys have intern you are internal members so you are authorized to let's say okay. you, whenever you log in you have more access in the same web logic they will have little less access okay. some access i will restrict for them some options okay. i will grade out okay. and will not appear for okay. them i will uh, you can also hide the buttons hide the menus that is also possible that we will be doing here in web logic security means based on okay. which which real which in okay. the realm we create groups roles everything okay so in okay. first you create realm then in the realm we create groups okay. role everything and then here we will in the uh, in the training we will install backend let's say a ad or oud any backend we will install we will create some users here so you will also learn how okay. to write ldap how to work with ldap and then we will connect this okay. ldap with our web logic okay and then we try oh, to okay. whenever whenever uh, web logic you install it have its internal embedded directory this is a uh, Im oh. embedded directory coming by default whenever you install web logic so when you try to authenticate it get authenticating okay. from here but this directory will okay. not serve more than 1000 users if you are putting it will crash so what developers do when they install web logic okay. they cut up cut out the connection of this directory okay. and they install a third party okay. heavy directory like ad oud or open dj this kind of directory and then they connect their web logic this external directory as a authenticating directory that you will be setting we will be installing and removing the connection from the default directory and putting it to the third heavy loaded you know the directory which can take heavy load as a third external directory okay. you know, we will be connecting so in order to do so you have to change okay. the configurations in realm your realm is by default having uh, ldap information as embedded directory that you have to change and you have to provide the it resource of this ad it resource means what is the server what is the ip address let's say what is the host what is the port on this ad is running everything and then the connection will be established and when the next time dinesh will you know try to authenticate he will authenticating from here so you will okay. be seeing you know you again i will help you to install uh, tools like apache directory studio using that you will be seeing the backends apart from this you will also learn okay. ldap queries using that you will also see all the you know container dn like let's say uh, cn equal to dinesh dc equal to example dc equal to com you will write the commands also you can learn how to access with the gui right so you will have a complete you know understanding how you can connect one external third party backend with your uh, you know this uh, uh, web logic now again one more use case i will give now this backend is okay but i need second backend also for second set of people which are not uh, internal employee they are contractors so that if tomorrow the project is over i can simply okay. cut out this real and i don't need to do any changes here okay so that also we will be covering in web logic here also you will install backend and create a second real and again doing reconnection okay so this is what okay, we will be learning okay. in web logic all the security now okay. come to performance tuning when you install web logic your web logic you know get slow down you know it's you know it's hang sometime it take a lot, lot of time in loading so here i will be teaching you garbage collection garbage collection garbage collection algorithm what is heap how to manipulate heap size because let's say by default 
you have a heap of heap memory what is heap memory heap memory is a memory where unused objects are there and objects are yes. there, right? right so okay. whenever you uh, you are running multiple application object will started filling in the heap and heap will be full so how to increase okay. there are two solutions either increase the heap size or remove this unnecessary object so that you will object. achieve the performance right so increasing okay. heap is a second uh, means you know another way to configure the heap which we will be doing in weblogic how to configure heap any custom heap we will configure and second thing we would be doing is uh, let's say your company not have much uh, budget they do not want to increase the heap heap means increasing the ram when you increase the ram okay. automatically spaces will be there and when spaces will be there you will modify the heap files and automatically size will be increased but they do not have budget they want you to do okay. the same configuration so you here you need to learn a garbage collection concepts okay you need to collect okay. this okay so that how to remove unnecessary objects in the runtime in the production i will be teaching in the garbage collection topic garbage collection algorithms i will be teaching then i will teach okay. you how to take heap dump how to manually and automated way to take heap dump when okay. you take dump dump is a method by which you can you know uh, fix and figure out the issues in memories okay and how to analyze heap dump in real time then thread dump okay. how to take thread dump okay so these are all performance related uh, terminology means here you will be maximizing the performance of web logic in performance tuning and whenever you sit for any interview which is a uh, very giving a good uh, roles and designation performance tuning is the must and web logic security this is the must topic they ask apart from this jms and jdbc configuration uh, by default some touch up knowledge everybody have in the project because you know they will see it every day but if you talk about okay. performance tuning you will hardly get a chance to tune it because this is done by uh, developers and architects okay and web logic security nobody allow you to touch in the beginning phase but whatever okay. i had touched in the 7 8 10 year of experience you will be having an opportunity to touch in first and second year of your experience you know and having the same level of knowledge which an architect has okay. then last we will be covering up here uh, web logic to again another web server let's say today your company is running web logic now your company goes yes. another requirement right web logic is one server but they want it some another supporting servers to be run parallelly along with your web logic okay. so that you know some load will go to one server some load will go to another server okay they want to you know okay. distribute it so how to integrate how to do this configuration we will be learning web logic to web server integration where you will be you know doing some plugin related work integration configurations okay you will be installing that third uh, or fourth application server and we will be connecting that application server or web server with your web logic how to do it we will be doing that all the configurations and notes okay. will be given to you pda ppt everything will be given and when everything is done we need to perform upgradation means and patching okay. let's say some issues come right so oracle will give you some patch how to apply patch what are the types of patch okay how to fix okay. bug fixes using patch we will be learning then okay. we will be performing okay. live upgradation means let's say today you are working on 12c any version doesn't matter you want to switch to the next version what are the general steps for upgrading okay. any application server and where here we will be live upgrading our application server so you will have then some dumps some notes i had given and i will also help with the resume building okay how you what are the points you have okay. to cover but don't you think if you know this much and then you build your resume obviously you can see you know almost end to end everything here right okay sir is it is it clear yes sir is it too clear no okay okay let me stop recording one second